You know what it is, you know who it is. Nick Fury back with some Nintendo Daily News. We are talking about the Golden Joystick Awards, but before we get into the news, like, subscribe, comment, and after you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notifications when I release content in the future. Let's get into the topic. The Golden Joystick Awards were this weekend. There were plenty of games representing all platforms, Sony, Nintendo, Xbox, PC. Plenty of awards were given out. Um, Xbox had its own game of the year, uh, Sony had its own game of the year category, Nintendo had its own game of the year category, so they gave each platform a game of the year. Xbox's game of the year was Cuphead, made by HDMR Studios, that is my personal favorite game of the year so far. Sony's game of the year was Horizon Zero Dawn, that comes as no surprise, and then Nintendo had their own game of the year, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, there were some more awards. Let's just go through some examples here. Best storytelling, best visual design, best audio, best gaming performance, best indie game, best multiplayer game, studio of the year, things like that, eSports, best VR game, handheld game, uh, PC game, just things like that. Uh, best multiplayer game was PUBG, and I'm looking forward to that coming to the Xbox. Uh, best visual design was Cuphead. Uh, best Storytelling, Horizon Zero Dawn, so you can see that there were quite of the same games getting awards. But in the end, uh, Golden Joystick had their ultimate game of the year out of all the platforms and all the games, and they picked The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And also, the same studio that made The Breath of the Wild got Studio of the Year. So there you go, congrats to Nintendo getting those awards. Uh, the real test will come later in the year when the real video game awards uh, starts and that will be interesting to see how the Switch matches up and how the games and the lineups match up versus Sony uh, versus Xbox versus PC. Um, also on a side note, I'm really really pleased that Cuphead got a few awards. Cuphead was Xbox's game of the year. Like I mentioned before, Cuphead is my personal favorite game of the year. I really liked the game. It was really fun, really innovative. The artwork was great. Music was great. Everything about that game was really good. I give it a 10 out of 10. It'll be in my top five games of the year, obviously, when I do that video at the end of the year. I don't know where it'll be. It might be number one. Who knows? But it's good to see that game get some love, get a lot of love, get some awards. But once again, congrats to Nintendo. This is nothing but good news. Uh, the Switch is doing well. Their games are doing well. Uh, publishers and developers are, are commenting on the Switch, saying that they'd like to get in on the Switch, start to making games for the Switch. And it just feels like the Nintendo Switch is trending upward, not downward, unlike its predecessor, the Wii U. The Switch is doing very well. So once again, congratulations to Nintendo. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let's have some discussions. Like, subscribe, and remember, as always, it's all about gaming. It's all about what you make of gaming and not about what platform or what side you choose. This is Nick Fury, and I will see you guys later.